Hello everyone, this video is about arthroscopic TFCC repair. Wrist pain or the ulnar sided wrist pain is a common problem and usually occurs following a fall or a twisting injury. Diagnosis can be made clinically and sometimes MRI is required to confirm the diagnosis. Persistent pain and an unstable DIRUJ is an indication for a arthroscopic TFCC repair. This is an example of a dorsal capsular tear in which MRI is done and it's confirmed and a wrist arthroscopy is done and which shows a floppy unstable TFCC confirmed by probing. And the repair is begun initially by freshening the edges of the tear so that a good healing can be achieved. A small shaver is introduced which is around 2.4 millimeter and the edges of the TFCC are debrided. Once the debridement is done, the actual repair process starts by passing the sutures or the stitches, what we call it in layman terms. In this situation, it might require two to three stitches. So we started with a first stitch, which is passed from outside, inside and comes out. And the second stitch is subsequently passed. Here a PDS is used. Either one can use a PDS or an ethy bond or a fibrous wire. There's a second stitch and subsequently the third stitch which is passed across TFCC once the sutures are passed the sutures are tensioned and adequate tension at the TFCC is noticed that means the repair is good and a good closure can be achieved this shows a minimal scar and three months after the surgery, the patient is having good range of movement, which is painless and look at the minimal scar on the left wrist. The advantages of such a surgery are smaller incision, minimal pain, faster rehab or earlier return to work. And the disadvantages are surgeon needs to be trained in performing these procedures and requires additional instruments. Thank you very much.